Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and I would like to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in a workout. This is of course my second channel, I am a full-time YouTuber, Mark's with an X, Max Muscle, bodybuilding news, comparison channel, and this is my personal channel, and it is devoted to live streams and of course workouts the workout videos will be the meat and potatoes of this this channel of course and today is basically the meat and potatoes of exercising the squat we will be doing the squat today i already did my stretches and i often sometimes preach about doing stretches things of that nature but i don't show it but i think i may actually do a, an entire video devoted to some stretching and right now, obviously, I'm beginning with some very light squats. This is to get my technique. I'm making sure that my my legs are, you know, level. I'm going down level. I was just looking down there. My legs were even probably further down. Hard to get the camera angle exactly straight here. But I'm sure you guys forgive me. Sure, a lot of you guys just put this on and do a cardio workout. Watch it during cardio. Hey, whatever works. And like I said, this is just a light set. We're not going to go to fail, obviously. Going to fail. Maybe slightly overrated for every set. For every set. I don't want to offend you. The people that always... Okay, now. Now we threw on a little bit more weight. Okay, we're done warming up. I do some air squats as well. I like to speed these videos up, though like to try to get them under at half an hour now so all right this is 45 pounds each side and before you comment and say well that's not a lot of weight you're weak weak is a relative term i'm not a heavy squatter i was a pro wrestler move around flips things of that nature I was never a power lifter Stronger now than I ever was, though. I can tell you that. Which doesn't say a lot about my power in the past, but it doesn't matter, guys. As long as you're out there putting on muscle, keeping in shape, whatever your aim is. I'm not taking count here. Are you guys counting? I like to try to get high, high, high reps. I think we're going for maybe... Maybe 20? I don't think so, though. I don't like to try to, to kill myself the first set. But I do like to try to get a good workout in. In this set. And obviously that first set was a... What do they call it? A throwaway set. But it's very important. Now there are days. And I posted them on my Instagram. I, I think I did anyway. You know, squatting my max. I would never do this on those days. Yeah, I'm definitely going for a high set here. Maybe 20. And that's more difficult to me than to squat my max. But yes, on those days I'll do maybe 5 reps. This weight, put on a little bit more. Then go down to 4 reps. Put on a little bit more and... And get into a situation, oh, you see these where I don't go all the way up? Oh, those are the best. Some days I will do an entire squat workout. I'll do two or three sets of squats just like that. Not heavy, though. Maybe we threw on 10 pounds each side, so do the math. We got 45, 55 pounds each side, plus the weight of the bar. Plus the weight of the bar. You like my little makeshift squat rack, safety stools with pillow, pink pillow, and a, a padded stool on the other side. They're level. They are level. I don't end up using them. All right, you going down all the way there, Mark? Come on now. Is it too heavy for you, buddy? Yeah. Sometimes that that big set, like the previous set that I did, it can wear a person out 
to the point that they're not going to be able to squat heavy from here on in. And I guess that's the point. Doing a pose down with Saunch Bodybuilding, another fellow YouTuber. So I'm getting in shape for that. So I guess the the time for putting on a whole lot of muscle on the, the lags is, is gone. Now I'm just trying to you know, keep those quads as big as possible. Of course, my opponent Saunch has some big lags. Me, not known for lags at all. Hey, I try. Try my best. All right. Throw some more weight on here. And you can see already by my technique or by my ability to to squat here that it is a lot of weight for me at this stage in the game. And like I said, guys, and maybe I will post them eventually. I'll post some workouts where I do go for my max. I would do one or two reps with this weight. Maybe by second second set or so but I would be fresh this is three three oh those are I don't know if they're 25 pound plates they're 22 pounds so 45 plus the 22 you do the math 65 67 67 each side 134, 134 pounds, 44, 54, 150, almost 155 pounds. Oh yeah, there's the little, little clips there on the bars, pound each, so yeah. It's about my weight. So this is my weight, I'm squatting my weight. Not a whole lot, guys, but okay, we, we, we took a little bit of weight off. No, I'm skipping the scenes just to save you guys the time watching me switch the plates. I figured that was enough for weight. We're not we're not going for two rep sets, that's for sure. Or even three rep sets. One, two, three. As long as you get past three, you're safe. Four. Unless, like I said, of course, you're going for your your max. I want to keep my knees bent here. To straighten your knees, really, it's not doing yourself any favors, but... Then we took another little bit of weight off, back to the 45s. And, like I was saying, they're going to say, don't be afraid to go in there and squat and have it be heavy. And obviously heavy, if it's not a lot of weight. Now see here, I'm not going up all the way. Those ones are actually quite, quite painful. Quite painful indeed. Those are the ones you shouldn't be afraid of doing in the gym. Like, you don't need a lot of weight for doing that. Branch Warren used to do those type of squats. Of course, he would use three or four plates each side. But that wouldn't be a lot of weight to him. But to the type of the way that he was doing the squat itself and why do you think his legs were so huge no oh, I didn't skip that I just went right into the next set because we are almost done I think I think actually no we take a little bit of weight off and do even even lighter squats don't be afraid guys Hey, to some people, this wouldn't even be a warm-up. And with the type of muscle some people have, of course not. You gotta let your muscles tell you how strong you are, not your ego. Some people's ego won't let them go into the gym. Alright, we're gonna do a uh, 35. You notice that the plates are a little smaller here? Dirtier too. Those are 35-pound plates. We have those, hey... Here at Mark's Max Muscles Barn, we are proud to feature both. Not both. We threw the L in there. Both. Whatever. Alright, we're trying to do these type of squats for the lighter weight. It's nice to feel that light weight on my back. But the burn will be there. It's all you need. 
that's all you have to do. Get to the burn. And at this point, I don't even need those safety stools. Don't need them anyway. I guess you could just drop the weight, but I don't like to do that. Very rarely do I use those. Alright, that was a nice little quick set. Now we're just going to fast forward this because, I mean, there's nothing. One, two, we'll count, I think. Three, four, I think is my last set. Five. We're going to go for a high set, I think. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more for ten. Sometimes I'll only do, I'll only do four sets. Of squats. Eleven. Twelve. This is not one of those days. Lucky number thirteen. Fourteen. Barely get that one. Oh, it went down extra. <laughs> to make up for it with the fifteenth and final squat. And yeah, that's it for squats, guys. And now... We're going to maneuver over here. Maneuver. What a funny word. We're going to maneuver over here and do some sissy squats. I think that's what these are called. Sissy squats. Could do a couple of sets, a couple of reps, what have you. This is a makeshift sissy squat setup. I got my weights pinned down in the back there, as you can see. One's a 50-pounder with black tape, and one's a 25-pounder with pink tape. And I have the leg extension machine. I have that chained up. I chained it up. So nobody can get at it. But yeah, it's so it won't, won't extend out. You can't do the leg extensions. Now, if you want, I mean, it's up to you. You go ahead, grab yourself a set of dumbbells, do some squats, but at this juncture in my workout, yeah, my legs are pretty much blown up here from my little squat session, so yeah. these To me, these are a finisher anyway. You don't want to do too much weight. I think it would be too hard on the knees. Maybe if you're a young buck or bucket. What I, what I have you go ahead try some more weight but personally I've done the dumbbells I began with this workout you can even grab a plate actually works with a plate maybe even better my knees get a little sore the next day try not to do too many workouts you know if they say does it hurt when you go like this well don't go like this it's an old saying guys it's a good one you go ahead, use it. Just give me a shout out. Let them know where you got it from. But sissy squats, guys. If you haven't tried these, do it. Oh, what with a little pose. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can see my teardrop slightly. Small. I'll show you the whole package when we do a little pose down. Me and Sanch. Yeah, at least I'm brave enough to do it. All right, we're going to fast forward it, apparently. In the last couple of sets here. Three. Four. These are good for targeting the quads. If you're looking for a glute exercise, eh, you're barking up the wrong tree, bucko. Not going to find it with this. Go do some lunges or something. These target the quads. Maybe that's why they're harder on the knees. Could be. When I do them without weight, they're fine. My knees are fine. All right. This is the first workout I posted. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Another pose. What are we going to do? Another one? A third one? Oh, <laughs> a different variation. Oh, we got a side tricep. What's going on here? I can't think of anything else. Oh, we got a tilted rear, rear double by. And, you know, when you're acting a fool like that, you really do get the burn. And that's it for that. And we're going to finish off. We're going to fast forward, apparently, with some lag extensions here. I burped there. Did you see that? All right, drop sets. Perfect. Love these drop sets. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See that at the end there? I was flexing. And that was the ultimate pump. After you do these lag extensions, do a few air extensions and flex while you do it. Sometimes if you wear shorts, you can see the veins are popping. Papa a poppin. That's a Louis Marco reference, by the way. Here we go. Yeah, same thing with that. You can almost see the vascularity through the my joggers. Joggers. Just joking. Alright. You can see why I fast forward through through these. There's nothing to see. No real wrong technique. You can point your toes one way or the other if you want to work your outer or you want to really zone in that on that teardrop. So, But other than that, you can see I am pointing my toe in. Maybe to get that teardrop a little bit more. Target it a little bit more. And to me, these quote-unquote hard-on-the-knee exercises are finishers. Because you do not want to put too much weight. No, don't don't kid me. Or don't kid yourself. I'm not going to kid myself. I could do a whole lot more weight of this if I really wanted to. For a few reps. But why do the damage to your knees? And you could stick with the, the reps. Of course, the high reps are probably... You do some damage too. All right. It's all about balance. You get people will try to warn you. Oh, you can get hurt. Get athletes hurt. Tear muscles. But no good. To anybody. Then you get other people who would say, Oh, come on, man. Go big or go home. If you're not going to lift a million pounds, you just stay the F home. It's all about finding a balance, I guess, between those two type of people. But anyway, you gotta have fun too. And I do enjoy a good leg extension drop set to finish off. And this is Oh, there's there there was a belch there. Sorry. Sorry. But yeah, I think I if I'm not mistaken, this is the last workout. This is the last set of my leg workout. Began with squats. I think all in all, this video, maybe 20 minutes, what have you. 18 minutes now. Probably 20 minutes, yeah. Gonna do a drop set, yeah. But <laughs> took an hour. Took one hour, one solid hour. Oh, a dumbbell or that plate came back. Almost hit my foot. And you know what? You know what? This one's gonna do the same thing, look. Now watch. Get upset here. Get out of there. Temper, temper. But yes, this is, like I said, the final set. And it is, in fact, a drop set. And I would like to thank you guys. Sticking it out with me. And I have not been posting as much. Been very busy with my real channel. And that's the last set right there. The last rep, I should say. But trust me, guys. I will find a formula to be able to continue to post on this channel. And yeah, to steal a phrase from an old workout channel or show, program, body break, Hal Johnson, Joanne McLeod, to steal a phrase from them. Keep fit and have fun. Have a good one, guys.